How's it going guys? So today we're working on a 2021 Pilot Black Edition with the Fokker issue. Uh, we've done the bulletin, we've done everything, including a dash harness that was uh, messed up by a different tech. But regardless, uh, we are here today. It's still happening. Still having popping and stuff. And uh, what I've found most times is these two wires right here at the stereo amplifier, as you can see, are in a pretty uh, decent amount of tension. So I'm just gonna show you uh, what I do to uh, fix this. And I've had a great success uh, in particular with uh, the pilot and the passport. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, reroute these wires and I'm gonna zip tie it myself. I'm gonna eliminate this zip tie right over here. All right guys, so like I said, we're gonna cut the zip tie. You gotta be very careful. Uh, you don't wanna cut the harness. If you cut the harness, uh, you're gonna be replacing this four harness. So cut that out. I'm gonna spin this out. If you want, you could disconnect these these under massive tension. You gotta be super careful with all these connectors, as you should know. So that one's under massive tension, and the red one even more so. And this is uh, what's been causing my issues. Look at that angle right over there. So we're gonna straighten that out a little bit. Eliminate this. We no longer need this. Obviously, Honda didn't do a good job with it anyways. You can just toss it in the garbage. Now you're gonna cut back some of the tape over here, a couple inches. Again, being very, very careful. If you cut into this wire, uh, you're gonna be replacing this harness. Or if you break any of these connectors. Um, and if you've done one of these before, it is not fun. Um, and if you have an Odyssey uh, and you uh, need to replace the floor harness, then Good luck. You gotta drop the fuel tank and everything. It's really a terrible, terrible design. It's just gonna keep coming back at it. Nothing crazy. Being very careful, very gentle. If you don't have the patience for this stuff, I suggest you uh, let a different tech handle it at this point. All right, so I think we've cut back enough. We're gonna try to strain these out a little bit, as you can see, under massive tension. Look at this one, that's ridiculous. How Honda didn't know this was gonna be an issue is beyond me. And it continues to be issues on uh, some of the newer cars even. All right, so now, I think I'm gonna cut back a little bit more over here. And hopefully uh, this helps some of you guys out there that are dealing with this uh, never ending issue. Now what I usually do is I run them some way, somehow, to where there isn't as much tension on the wires. And we're gonna kind of sort of sit time into place over here. So these don't have to be uh, perfect exactly, uh, but you want a, you know, as clean of uh, exit out of this connector as possible. So, that seems to be pretty straight. I'm gonna try to uh, figure out how to zip tie this uh, real quick off camera, and then um, I will show you exactly where I put my zip tie. All right guys, so here we are. I've zip tied one around here, and then I looped up another one here and, and uh, kind of supported it up against uh, its own bracket right in there. And we did eliminate the OEM one, which obviously doesn't do a good job anyways. But as you can see, they are a lot straighter now than they were. You can still wiggle them a little bit and they're not really under tension and you can still manipulate them a little bit. Um, and I think just about there is gonna be perfect. You're also gonna wanna take a look over here. Obviously these have the updated connectors already um, and these look to be pretty good. I might uh, tuck them underneath this one just to give it a little bit less of a bend right under here. They do have a little bit of an angle. So uh, yeah, like I said guys, I've been very successful with this. Uh, this has fixed most of my cars. Uh, sometimes even before replacing the Fokker connectors, I do this. Um, of course, obviously depending on your failures, but we can know that's, we all know that system's not really uh, perfect either. So uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys. Like I said, I've done this to uh, 2019 Pilot and Passport uh, with a great success. Um, so with that being said guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your buddies.